Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we're on the season finale for season two of The Last Kingdom. So, last episode we know that Uhtred and the little pussy king, pussy lord of Mercia, soon wants to be king, um, and husband of Ethelred, uh, Ethel fled. Um, I never get any of them names right. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, um, negotiated with Eric and Siegfried uh, for her release. And at the end, she came to Uhtred and said, she's not leaving. She's not going back to her husband. She's going to stay with Eric, the pagan Viking. So, uh, we're going to, and she asked Uhtred to help her, which means basically if he helps her escape, uh, and then, you know, it's found out that he did, obviously, he's going to be killed. So, um, we're going to see what happens on this episode. It's the season finale, so it should be good. Let's go. How much? It's not a small amount, Lord. Just... 3,000 pounds weight of silver and 500 pounds weight of gold. The first of the metal is to be delivered by the next full moon, the remaining amount one month later. That is an impossible amount. An absurd amount. That is the best price. It is, Lord. It is less than half their first demand, Lord. What it is, is the entire wealth of Wessex. What it would buy is an army to ensure the end of Wessex and Mercia. Without the money, what will happen to my daughter? She's too valuable to simply kill, Lord. It would be humiliation. She will be taken to every town where Danes rule. She will be paraded before mocking crowds. Men would pay to take their turn. Hmm. Wow. Lord. News, Lord. Speak. Say to the king exactly what you said to me. Exactly. Come on, say it. Lord, this man is from Canterbury. The Northmen of Bayem Fleot are now crossing the river and raiding directly into Wessex. They have taken my wife and daughters, Lord. The youngest is eight years. Well, we do nothing, Lord, but gather half pennies from the poor. I lie, lie. But I say this to you as your friend. Do nothing. If I do not see you again, Utrecht or Bevenberg, oh, I he wish is. you. Good luck. Oh. Wherever fate may take you. Oh, he is going to do it. Thank you, Lord. Uh oh. Now it is clear. Each man has a right to see her. And every man will guard her with his life. You bet. She is our wealth. She belongs to us all. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to cause some problems between them two brothers, that's for sure. Dear God. I have something to say. I have something to say to each of you. You will be disappointed to know that this woman here is now mine. No man is to touch her. Not with his hands, and most certainly not with his cock. She belongs to me. Missing. When they are, it's over. We cannot wait. But Lord, we have lost half our men. And there are hundreds of them both inside and outside the fortress. And a few more men will not be noticed. We go to the fortress. Distraction, good distraction. Eric, do not do this. Do not dare to do this, brother. Please let me have this one chance. I cannot let her go. She's a fortune. She's a reputation. If it's reputation you want, you can begin with killing me. Who should know? If you want your fortune, you must kill me. <gasps> No. 
No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, damn it. I can't believe you killed your brother. You bastard. I'm gonna make sure he dies with his sword in his hand. My God. You. You did it. No, you did it. Stand ready! Stand ready! Good God. I think it is Uhtred. It is her. Yep. It is Ethel Fred. Yep. Mother. He brought her home. Lord. Now you don't trust him. We're being pursued by Siegfried. The Danes are low in number and disorganized. My advice is that we kill them all. Yep. Lord, Here they come. We only have a 